Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be playing another drinking game with 2009's version of My Bloody Valentine. I actually did a poll on Instagram to see which version I was gonna do, either the 1981 version or the 2009 version. And obviously if you're watching this, this is the 2009 version that won. Good job, you guys, whoever voted, I appreciate it. Uh, I'll be doing more votes like that on my Instagram, so follow. <laughs> so the rules we're getting from dreadcentral.com. I'll link the rules down below as well so you can so you can follow along if you ever want to play, you know, with your friends or by yourself like I'm doing. So I vividly remember watching this movie in theaters and let's just say it was definitely an experience. This is around the craze, that 3D movie craze. Everything has to be in 3D. It didn't have to be, but that's what they chose for whatever reason. Choices were made. Decisions were made during that weird period of time. <laughs> like literally everything was 3D. It's like, why? Why is this necessary? And I still spent money on it. So, oh well. Today we're drinking Laguanitas. Variety pack. Oh wait, variety pack. I actually really love this brewery. It's located here in Chicago. Yay. Hometown brewery stuff. You know, I don't even know why I keep saying y'all know the rules because I barely remember the rules. So <laughs> we're going to put some rules here. Whatever the site that was we got from Black Christmas, that was torture. <laughs> Great rules, but come on, man. That was insane. Oh yeah, I'll link that video up here. Up here or up here. Whichever side that goes on. Here are the rules. Drink whenever you hear the name Harry Warden. Drink whenever you see Valentine's decorations or gifts, candy heart boxes, cards, those little streamer thingies, whatever you call it. I don't know, whatever. You'll know it when you see it. Drink. Drink whenever you see a corpse or there's an on-screen. That's what kept messing me up in the other two movies. I jumped the gun and drank beforehand. Maybe because I just wanted to drink. Who knows? Jump the gun, drink before there was a confirmed death on the scene. So this time, whenever there is a verified, definitely verified corpse or someone's being unalived on screen, drink. This is something different. Drink twice. What does it say? Drink twice whenever you see a removed human heart. Oh yeah, since this was supposed to be a 3D movie and obviously I don't have 3D screens here, when there's an obvious 3D movie, we're gonna drink twice because why not? <laughs> Am I taking shots today? It's pretty early in the week and I definitely have the gym tomorrow. I said that I would take a shot whenever someone has sex or there's nudity on the screen. I don't know if I'm gonna take a shot, but I will waterfall for 10 seconds. These are hybrid rules at this point. Eventually I'll set some like for real, for real solid rules. But also one of those universal rules that I'm gonna have is when you see someone drink, drink. That's always gonna be a, a rule. I don't care what it is. Starting off with this yuzu lemon squeeze. Let me just say this now. Lionsgate, this is fair use. Please, I beg of you, please don't copyright me. Even though I'm not monetized or anything yet, I'm trying, please. Fair use, please don't copyright strike me. Let's get into it. Oh yeah, does this count? <laughs> Obvious 3D moment because clearly the intro is supposed to be in 3D. It's supposed to be coming at me with those shitty glasses we used to wear. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put a counter up here. <laughs> or does it even matter? I'm just gonna drink. Cheers. With a pickaxe, blood was found on Harry Warden's Look, pickaxe. chances are very slim that Warden will ever come out of his coma. And so God doesn't waste any miracles on Harry Warden. How many times did they say Harry Warden? Shit. I can already tell this is gonna piss me off. Killed each of them with a pickaxe. Blood was found on Harry Warden's pickaxe. Okay. We're just a minute and 40 seconds into this movie. Jamie King. Um, that counts as a corpse, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure he's dead because no one's just sitting there wide-eyed, willingly with this man sitting on him like that. So, drink. <laughs> Title car. I remember that being in 3D. <laughs> I 
Okay, so how many? Okay, this is two. Okay, so two bodies. Okay, I'm pretty sure it said it has something else in these rules about dead bodies because what the hell? That's four bodies right there. Oh yes, only drink once for piles of bodies, one row or frame. A hangover death wish. <laughs> if it's over four bodies in a scene, I'll drink as one. But if it's four or less, I'll take those. I'll take it for the team. Fuck it. <laughs> Oh God, is this a new body? What the shit? We're just barely five minutes in. God dang it. Drink twice when you see a removed heart. I should have known from when her shit was all busted open. Who did this? Harry Ward. <sighs> He's gonna say it again. I'm having regrets. Where the hell is he headed? Oh, look at that framing. Oh. Mm. All right. Okay, I'll drink when he drinks. Is that a Bronco? I love that car. That's the 67 Bronco, if I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah, randomly. Jamie King, isn't she like a part of that whole clone? Like, I don't even know what to call it. Not, I mean, that's not what I'm saying. She's not a clone, but she looks like a crowd of people. I'm pretty sure she's in that, in that drawing with uh, her looking like Margot Robbie and all, all that Samara weaving. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce people's names. Yeah, her lookalikes. Jamie King's lookalikes go as follows. Margot Robbie, Emma Stone? Okay. As a blonde, yes, sure. Samara Weaving, Jamie Presley, Jamie McKay, and Jamie King. They all have the same face. Are they all Australian? Because I know a handful of them are Australian. <laughs> like, how is there so many copies of your face? She's dressed like she's going to Sunday school. You trying to get his dick wet? You ready to party? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I see someone drinking in the corner. Eagle eye. <laughs> Drink. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Dean from Supernatural. Yeah. Goofy. This is a lot of drinks. I keep underestimating these rules. Technically, it's three more drinks. Obvious 3D moment here. And a death. Bro, definitely dead. She should have been gone, bro. Like, why? Why is she running so slow? It's three bodies. Okay, I know what I said earlier during those hospital scenes, but at this point, at the rate that all this is going, yeah, when there's a pile of bodies like that, it's one drink. I would like to survive and go to the gym tomorrow. Why is she not running? Hello? Oh, God. Bro, why can't she shut up? Oh yeah, you dead, bro. You see dead bodies and you asking if that's a person you know. Why aren't you running, bro? Oh God, shut up, shut up, shut it. That's why your dumb ass about to die. Good Lord. You have one job, idiot. All right, well. Dumbass. She's obviously dead. Oh, 3D. Why was she so close to the dang thing? It's two drinks. Left his ass. 
Bro, how's this man still alive? Don't leave this man. He is clearly unstable. <laughs> they bugs as hell for leaving him. The murder capital of America. Murder capital. Minor Harry Warden went on a killing spree. Okay. Since you want to say Harry Warden and whatnot. Look at this dickhead, Axel. How did he become sheriff? Look at this harlot. Eloquent sheriff. You make us look like an inbred mining community. We are an inbred mining community, Ben. We're at Flex. Your old man could see you now. I don't know. Wasn't he in house? Girl, fuck you. She got a dick appointment. This nigga about to bust. Oh my god. <laughs> Scum. Maybe one day you'll tell your wife. Ain't gonna happen, sweetie. Maybe. That means no. Figure you'll be with Sarah. You know what? We're just gonna acknowledge it now because I can't remember any other decorations before that. I think I put too many rules on here. Gifts. Valentine gifts, I guess. I will count this as one. <laughs> Bitch, you corny. I didn't get you anything. Me too. You already have. Home wrecker. Oh my god. That's so messed up. Make sure you're wearing your jimmies. Whose baby is that? Who's the man who did that to you? Gators bitches better be using jimmies. I love that car so much. Maybe you shouldn't give this unstable man a drink. For how long? Three they just gonna hold them drinks? Your dad and I protected those men. Bro, they just gonna babysit them drinks. Aw, puppy. Someone's getting forked. She's faking it. Okay, I'll waterfall. Isn't that homegirl from earlier? I'm pretty sure that waterfall was like eight seconds. I don't know. I can't count. Valentine's. Did you know that St. Valentine was a patron saint of love? Yeah. Yeah, the whole thing started in Rome in like the year 500 or something. They would have this lottery where young men would draw teenage girls' names out of a box. And the whole rest of the year. That's where we got our Valentine's Day cards from. Kind of romantic in a sick kind of way, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's uh. But let me fact check this blonde bimbo. She says, whatever she said, it says it originated as a Christian feast day honoring one or two early Christian martyrs named St. Valentine. Oh, that's what she said. And through later folk traditions has become a significant cultural, religious, and commercial celebration of romance and love in many regions of the world. Only thing I remember about Valentine's Day is the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. I don't know why I remember morbid things about a holiday, but it never fails. I don't know what it is. I just have a morbid mind. I can't help that. St. Valentine's Day Massacre, February 14th, 1929, was the murderous of seven members of Associates of Chicago, Chicago's North Side Gang that occurred on St. Valentine's Day in 1929. Uh, the men were gathered at Lincoln Park, Chicago Garage, on the morning of February 14th. Somebody blew them folks down. That's Al Capone, folks. I'm going on a whole tangent. Gang entered the garage on 2122 North Clark, Clark Street. What you doing? No. Not the camera. What a creep. That loud ass zoom. That? Got the badge hanging all out. No well, it could have fooled me. Dang, he gave her ass a dub, G. She got a little Peggy Sue. At least put some pants on, bitch. Oh yeah, bro, she's tweaking. What's up with this music? Don't bust a blood vessel walking like that, my god. I know the gun's not loaded. Fuck you, Frank! Oh. <laughs> what the hell was that? And was that supposed to be 3D? I'm pretty sure it was. I'll do two drinks of that, because that was just dumb. <laughs> well, he's dead. Who does ass? Take the phone with you. Your hand was right there. Bro, her just being naked this whole scene. Oh my God, it's so funny, but it's so fucked up. That is not the way to go. <laughs> I'm gonna have to blur this entire scene out because the bitch is naked. Damn, why did she go out that window? 
That's the first place he gonna check us under the bed. Yeah, you breathing in hella hard. Oh, not the sweet lady. Lewis, you are in such trouble. No, you are. Or. Yeah, bitch, you fucked up. And this is a drink. <laughs> See, that's why you can't be gasping and all that. You know he right there. He can hear you. Goofy bitch. I mean, use this to your advantage. I don't know how, but do something. Keep. No, not like that. <sighs> he has a pickaxe. Bro, run at him with that. You're a sitting duck. You goofy bitch. This is why she about to die. He won't. She literally trapped her own damn selves like a dumbass. Can't show any of this on YouTube, but here we are. That's kind of fucked up. They found someone dead at the Thunderbird. There's cuffs everywhere. Have you talked to Axel? Go stop the display. She's like, bitch, I don't give a fuck. Hi. Tom. She just came. <laughs> I'm looking in the background. There's an ample amount of Valentine's Day decorations and gifts and shit. So I guess I'll count this as a drink. Hey, Sheriff, how was your day? Good, it was real good. Good? Well, why don't you go upstairs and you brush your teeth and I'll be up in a sec for story time and you can tell me all about it, okay? Okay, Mom. Love you. Bye. While she's saying bye, he's just going to brush his teeth in her decolletage box. I don't know if that's what it's called. I don't know. I've been watching too much Roly and Lux area. <laughs> Hello, Axel, are you okay? I heard that somebody died at the motel last night. Look, I don't have time to talk now, but I just thought you should know. So then why the hell did you call? This certainly won't quiet the rumors about Harry Warden being back. People think. He just said Harry Warden? I'm pretty sure he just said, God damn it. It's not Harry Warden, he's dead, remember? God damn it. Then keep saying Harry Warden. Bro, fucking gift. I'm gonna have to drink again because I know what's inside. Why her hands not bloody? Spread them. <laughs> well, that's like the fakest heart I've ever seen, but two drinks. Harry Warden is dead. Son of a bitch. People here know someone who died because. Harry Warden killed him. We're just 35 minutes into this, and I still have like an hour left. Oh, he's drinking. What is that? Aaron's murder. I'm sorry. I'll let you get back. Tom, wasn't that your friend? Why don't she give a shit? Seriously, no. Wasn't that her friend? I'm not sure why she doesn't give a shit. She's just looking at. Oh, I'm sorry. Like, what is wrong with you? No emotion. Why was she taking so long to put the key in the damn door? That's what I don't get. Because the other guy didn't react. You didn't hear shit from bro. I really paid money to see this shit in theaters. I'm getting mad just thinking about it. That's what I'm saying, bro. How ain't bro react? I know he heard all that rattling shit. What do you want? He's just getting his arms and hands fucked up, bro. Guys, trouble all three. Red right to enjoy it again. Come on, let's go. Double time. They running slow as hell. What's up with these slow ass moves, G? Like. Well, fuck. Ooh, I love that push-pull focus. They use that in Jaws, Vertigo. I think Vertigo was the first movie they used that push-pull uh, effect. Let me double check. It'll bug me throughout this whole video. I don't think that's what it's called. It's probably like the, the Dolly Zoom 
Two words. I'm I'm adding more shit to it for no reason. Alfred Hitchcock's Vertigo. Oh shit, I was right. Herman Roberts on the set of Alfred Hitchcock's Vertigo. Roberts made history with his new cinematic technique, but was uncredited in the film. Okay, I'm going down a rabbit hole that I didn't need to go down. Okay. <laughs> what was the reason? 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 This is overkill. Bro, it took y'all forever. He is not okay. Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! To put on! To arm and go! Jesus Christ! It's fuck. God damn it, is this a Valentine's Day gift? Dang it, Sarah! I almost got murdered. Of course I'll relax. He was attacked. By who? Nobody. What? The <laughs> okay, before I drink this, because fuck you, bro. You ain't have to say his name. She seems like a flat character. Like, there's no emotion to be found in her character. I don't know what it is. Everything okay? Like... You know she settled for you. Right? Awkward turtle. It's like a popping pills. It's been a while since I've drank. Like, why do people go investigating in the woods, bro? That's how you die. You know who don't do that shit? <laughs> he stumbled over to the fuck shack. There's so much of nothing in this movie. I should have watched the original one, but thanks. Thanks for participating in the boat. He is drinking, bro, lit. Don't grab the shotgun. You are under the influence, sir. And this is how you die, huh? <laughs> damn, Harry Warden. <laughs> Get me aim. God damn it, God damn it. He said Harry Warden. <laughs> Listen, I love horror movies, if you haven't noticed already. That was the cheapest attempt at the Exorcist 3 nurse uh, death scene I've ever seen in my life. They tried, I'll give that to them. They tried, but did not execute, sort of say. <laughs> I'll throw in a clip of the iconic uh, Exorcist 3 scene. That's the only thing I remember about that movie, to be honest. <laughs> I'll drink twice for this because obviously him doing that is an obvious 3D effect. Yeah, you fucked up, bro. It was like, when you know you're gonna die, what else you gonna say? Like, shit. He said Harry Warden, didn't he? God damn it. She ready for the 2010s. I hope you die at this point. She looking at her like, bitch, I hope you next. How the fuck you fall? Why are you stopping? Ah, she said it. Oh, don't broadcast it that you got the shit open. How the fuck he get out there so fast, bro? Ain't no way. This nigga ain't Michael Myers. She dead as fuck though, but karma. Way to ruin a shirt. If that was in there this whole time, why didn't they press that button as soon as they walked in there? Come on, bro. And your husband's a sheriff, G. Come on. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. I hate movies like this. Like, horror movies piss me off sometimes because of dumb shit like that. Seriously, back to the Well, if you tell me I don't want to see something, I'm going to look. Human heart. 
A dead body. A oh. dead body. Lock the door. What's up with folks not locking the door? We know she's dead. Wow, this cop is doing a terrible job. How did she not see anybody going to the house? Yeah, she already about to die. Look how she entering in. She ain't checking no corners, bro. What is she? Oh, no, don't put your gun down. You already know he's here. She's terrible at this job. It's a trap. I'm like, I know you know a trap when you see one. Nope. Oh, damn. I still know what you did last summer when they got Makai Pfeiffer ass with the little hook under the chin. I'll drink two more times because this is obvious. 3D effects. She said it. Why is everybody moving so slow? All right, this is an obvious 3D shit. She went on slow as hell. Resourceful. The way I would have just Superman out that window. Pick up the phone. All you had to do was bend down. She run like a doofus, bro. You need to shoot me, Sarah. You're still gonna be down here with the killer. What are you talking about, Sarah? Don't listen to him. Sarah, do it. He needs help, Sarah. Do it. You have to do it, Sarah. Shoot us. Nobody shoot us. Stop Sarah, it. Shut the fuck up. Those are the same words written in blood above her dead body. Isn't that right, Axel? How you know that? Sarah, what are you doing? Shoot him now. He's right here. It's you. This is not the time for a flashback. So exactly what are the pills he's taking? Cause they not doing shit. So he taking some placebo pills? Cause what they doing? Ooh, she's struggling. Just leave him like you left Tom 10 years ago. All right, nigga, get up, try it. <laughs> You got like one or two shots left. I think you got one shot left because she shot that bit three times. You shot it twice. Make it count. She about to miss. Oh, blow his ass up. That was supposed to be a some type of 3D ploy there. So I'll take two drinks. Kaboom! I'm pretty sure he should have been dead at that, but you know how horror movies go. How's he still alive? Look how close he was to that gas explosion. Come on. Excuse me. Help coming, okay? We're gonna get you out of here. Don't. Another shitty ass 3D effect. Hell no, nah, bro. Bro really tried to pull up Michael Myers, bro. Fuck out of here. That was my bloody Valentine 2009. I feel like I always regret watching the remake because the original definitely is so much better. Just like the Black Christmas uh, remake. I should have watched the original. Probably would have had a little bit more depth in that film versus this gimmick because of the whole 3D craze during the uh, mid 2000s that, you know, we had. I haven't watched the original in hella long, to be honest. I feel like it's been since I was in college. So shit, it's been like 10 years since I watched, watched uh, My Bloody Valentine. But yeah, next time I'm just going to watch the originals if there's a remake. There's a few exceptions that I will make, but for the most part, I'm watching the originals because these remakes are ass, bro. They're so but. This is probably like the easiest one that we've watched so far. Thanks for hanging out. If you enjoyed this, leave a like, comment, and maybe share this uh, with some friends that you would like to play this drinking game with. Comment below on which movie I should do next. Check my Instagram too, because I ask a lot of questions and polls on uh, what I should do next. I'm very active on there, so 
that's where you can find me hanging out if you don't see it on valentine's day it's gonna be up the next day don't want to tell you because life life happens i feel like every time i try to record a video some shit happens with my computer if you enjoyed this video like comment share don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you next time peace